Hi, my name is Alan and today I'm going to discuss the misconception some people have about protecting their data using BIOS passwords and login passwords. As you can see from the screen, I have a computer here that is protected using a BIOS password and um, as soon as Windows uh, loads um, you'll see that there is a login password as well. We read in the news many a times that companies who have suffered loss of, of a notebook um, will try to reassure the public that because BIOS password of a login password the person who got hold of the equipment can read the data. This is false and we'll soon prove it. Now, for my purpose, I have a little document which I am imagining is my very important and confidential file. The baddie would want to get to this data. In no way am I saying that BIOS passwords and login passwords are not important. They are and they do serve a purpose. But for a fairly determined person who wants to get to the data, they don't provide any form of difficulty. First of all, certain computers have a feature to disable the virus password. This is normally included so that uh, if you forget the password, you can reset it. And login passwords can be broken. There is software, there exists software that allows you to do that. Now, the computer is in the hands of the buddy. He rigged up the computer to his uh, monitor and he is going to power it up. Now, computer post test commences and since there is a BIOS password the body can't figure out how to proceed. All attempts to type in a BIOS password fail and at the end of it all the system halts. So the next step is to remove the computer's hard disk and plug that into his own computer. As you can see on the screen, at the moment I'm pointing out where the hard disk is situated. Now, although I'm using a desktop computer, the same identical reasoning applies to a notebook computer. So I'm removing the hard disk case, the hard disk container. I'm going to unplug floppy blend power and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach the hard disk to a uh, USB to ID connector. The USB to ID connector I am using um, is fairly cheap and it is widely available. The connector has uh, adapters for IDE three and a half inch hard disks, the newer SATA hard disks, as well as the smaller 2.5 inch hard disks normally found in uh, notebook and laptop computers. I'm going to plug in the power and after that I'll power up the unit itself. Having plugged in the unit, that powers the drive, and now what remains to be done is to plug the USB cable of the adapter into another computer. If you've ever plugged in a USB device, this message is standard, and as you can see, once that got detected, I got my message. And since I have uh, the auto load facility in Windows, that 
pops up a window asking me what I would like to do. I'm going to say I would like to browse files and I'm going to scroll to the document. And as you can see, that is the document we had on the other computer.